Hello everybody, Grendall here and got some tips for you. I've uh, been asked this a lot. Uh, it's been posted on comments here on my videos and it's also uh, shown up on the N52 uh, forums a lot. Those N52 forums, by the way, are at www.n52te.com slash community. So, um, the basic questions that come up um, runs along the lines of, hey, I created my profile and it's not working. What's up? And usually the most obvious fix is, well, did you actually put it on the N52? If you create your profile, which we cover here in another video, you want to save it, right? That's the obvious answer. Save, 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 because you want to be able to use it, right? you got to save it. The thing is, save saves it to your hard drive. All that does is shovels a copy away so that, you know, you can edit it later and you haven't lost all your hard work. It does not put it on the N52. You need to apply changes. Apply changes actually pushes your profile to the N52. So if you hit it, you should see this. Get a nice little progress bar. Yay. If you don't see the progress bar, something's not right. Most likely what's not right is your driver and your firmware are not up to date. When this thing ships, you usually come out with firmware version nothing. The driver is also usually version 1.0, was what's on the CD. Now, if you install the CD and install the firmware, you should have version 1.0 of the firmware on here as well. If you don't see at least version 1.0 of your firmware, what's more likely you'll see either version um, 0 0.1 or 0, 0.0 that means that well basically there's no software residing on the device itself. Now to clarify the driver is this profile editor this this interface you're seeing right here okay that's the driver that's what controls putting together the profiles and shoveling them off to the M52 TE. The firmware is the software that actually resides on the N52 and interprets the profile and sends the key presses back to your computer. If you don't have firmware, you can't put the profile on here because there's nothing to receive it intelligently and there's nothing to interpret your keystrokes. So when you press buttons, it goes dirt and nothing happens. You need to have your firmware on there. Most preferably, you want the most recent version of the firmware because it's got a bunch of updates that make like the D-pad work halfway properly and uh, fixes some other macro issues, interpreting the macros. If you see 0.0, .0 what's, what's most likely happening is um, either you're in the middle of a firmware update or you haven't applied the firmware yet. Now, what I've seen happen with this is whenever you do it and go to do a firmware update, what it'll do is it will unwrite or erase the firmware off of the N52 first. Then you have to reboot. If you don't do the reboot, you're left with a device with no firmware on it. Nothing happens. You'll see version 0.0 because .0 there's no firmware on the device. You gotta reboot. You reboot, you still have version 0.0, .0 because nothing's been written to the thing. What you do is you then run the firmware driver again. This time there's no driver on there, so it goes, oh cool, I can write it. Boom, now you have firmware on there. And you should see version 1.02 on it. The other question that gets asked a lot is about application switching, uh, linked applications and auto switching down here. To clarify, you can have more than one profile going on in here. All the application auto switching does is allow you to say, hey, when I go into WoW, throw on this application. When I go into StarCraft, throw on this. Uh, when I go into WoW Execute, which is the program, launch this profile. When I go into StarCraft, launch this profile. Now, you can have a whole bunch of these, so if you're playing a whole bunch of different games that all use different programs, there you go. This is basically similar to the uh, loadout manager from the old N52. This is really only useful if you only use one profile for that program. Now, I only use my default pro profile for the N52 in WoW, so I can link that one. That's great. That's awesome. I use a couple of different profiles when I'm in StarCraft. still haven't really gotten anything right, because... We can't switch uh, mo map modes and macros yet, which is annoying. But um, if I did, I'd probably have, you know, StarCraft Zerg, StarCraft Terran, StarCraft Protoss. I wouldn't want to link that because then it would go, well, the first one I list is alphabetically uh, StarCraft Protoss would be the first one it comes across alphabetically because that's what the old link loadout manager did too. Went, well, you loaded that program, here's the first one alphabetically that meets it, boom, loads that one up, you go in with Protoss profile, and you're trying to play Zerg, and nothing's working right. 
So, if you've got multiple profiles that you're using for a program, don't link them. Okay. I only do this because, well, I really only ever use this thing for WoW. Um, I'd like to be able to use it for other things, but I haven't really sat down and played with it because I'm too busy playing WoW and making these silly videos. So, uh, yeah, the, the linked application thing, cool, groovy, useful if, you know, you, you've got a lot of programs and you only have one profile per program. Otherwise, not necessary. Totally optional. Don't deal with it. Unless you want to. Um, but always remember, apply changes. Anytime you make changes to your profile, apply the changes. All right. That's all I got to say for tonight. This is Grendel signing off. Go Queen.